you've decided to sell your portable window air conditioner and now it's time to ship it. I will walk you through a procedure to pack and ship it efficiently. Before I begin, I should stress that these portable window air conditioners are lighter than most conventional window units. These portable window air conditioners weigh between 43 and 58 pounds depending on the model. They are light enough that they do not need to be shipped freight. They can be shipped like any other package. Even when packed, these air conditioners are still within the weight limit of the post office and most major shipping companies. The post office has a weight limit of 70 pounds. Shipping companies have a weight limit of over 100 pounds for regular packages. So you can ship one of these air conditioners through the post office or it can be shipped ground with a shipping company at a reasonable cost. When calculating the shipping costs, you should assume that the box and packing material will add 5 pounds of weight. You can get bubble wrap, packing peanuts, and packing tape at a do-it-yourself store or even at an office supply store. Get a box that is big enough for your air conditioner to fit into. These air conditioners measure 21 inches long, 24 inches long if they still have the side curtains, 16 inches high, and 11 or 14 inches deep. A good size box is 30 by 18 by 18 inches. A 24 inch box is fine if the air conditioner is missing its side curtains. The box does not need to be more than 30 by 18 by 18 inches. Otherwise, you'll end up paying more in shipping charges. In short, you want a box that is big enough for the air conditioner to fit into with some room to spare. Ideally, the package should not weigh more than 70 pounds and the box should not be more than 108 inches in overall size. To figure out the overall size of a box, add the length plus the girth. The length is the longest side of a box. The girth is the width plus the height times two. Let's use this box as an example. This box has a length of 26 inches. It is 20 inches wide and 18 inches high. So the width plus the height of this box is 38 inches. 38 times 2 is 76. This box's girth is 76 inches. This box's length is 26 inches 26 plus 76 is 102. This box's overall size is 102 inches. You can buy a large box at a nearby do-it-yourself store for about $2. You can also check stores in your area to see if they leave out boxes that their merchandise comes in. That may be what you need. If you can't find a box that is big enough for your air conditioner, you can create a big box by splicing two smaller boxes. Here's how you do it. Take two boxes. Make sure that one can fit into the other and that you get a snug fit. Ideally, both boxes should have the same length, width, and height. Measure the length of one of the boxes 
with the flaps up at the top end. Tape the bottom end of one of the boxes. You want to tape across and up and down. Make sure to smooth down the tape so it fits on the box securely. Insert one box into the other. Using packing tape, tape the two boxes together. Tape the flaps of the outside box to the top of the inside box. And also, Make sure to tape the corners. Once you've got a box, place the air conditioner in it. Then, you'll need to wrap the air conditioner with bubble wrap in order to protect it. Wrap the sides with bubble wrap. You will need about seven feet of bubble wrap for the sides. Make sure the ends are taped. Cover the top vents with bubble wrap. You will need about two feet of bubble wrap to cover each of the top vents. To secure it, make sure you tape it to the other bubble wrap you've already put around the air conditioner. Wrap the handle with bubble wrap. 
This will protect it during shipping. What you should do is fold the bubble wrap over like this and then put it on top of the handle. And then tape it to the other bubble wrap to hold it in place. If you can, place some more bubble wrap over the top of the air conditioner to provide it with some extra protection as well as to hold everything in place. Once you've bubble wrapped the air conditioner, fill the box with packing peanuts. You can just pour them in. <clears throat> Make sure the packing peanuts are spread evenly and don't leave any empty spaces. Now that you've finished packing your air conditioner, it is time to seal the box shut. Tape the box using packing tape. For the best protection, you want to tape across and up and down just like on the bottom. Finally, be sure to mark the box fragile and this end up. As you've seen in this video, it is possible to pack your portable window air conditioner. With the right materials and a good sized box, you can ship one of these window units. In my next video, I will show you another way to ship your air conditioner. Until then, thank you for watching and good luck selling your air conditioner.